Good afternoon, welcome back from tea. Uh, my name is Bernard Keevney. I'm a cardiologist uh, working uh, in Manchester, and it's my great privilege to uh, chair the Biobank International Scientific Advisory Board. We've heard um, so far so many great things about uh, what Biobank has achieved, and in this session, we're going to try and take more of a look forward. And in fact, Martin Bobrow, in his excellent talk in the morning, laid out uh, the tension that we're going to try and solve a bit of uh, in this session, where he mentioned that the UK Biobank participants, when they gave their blood, they didn't give it to be stored, they gave it to be used. And of course, a lot of plasma from UK Biobank participants is still sitting in freezers. But on the other hand, it, has, it is a depletable resource and it has to be used with care uh, and to try and get the most possible information out of that depletable resource. And in the talks that we have lined up uh, for you, uh, we're going to go into some of the new technologies and approaches which uh, may make us uh, come to the conclusion that actually now is a good time. Um, for UK Biobank to start breaking into that uh, treasure house of, of plasma which may uh, contain many new biomarkers for disease and other uh, pathological insights. Uh, so uh, as the first speaker, it's a pleasure to welcome uh, James Peters, who is uh, a BHF Career Development Fellow at University of Cambridge. Uh, he's a clinician scientist uh, with a special interest in vasculitis, and his research is focused on the etiology of cardiovascular diseases and vascular inflammation uh, by particularly applying proteomic approaches. So, Jimmy.